Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to explain how to use evidence and analysis in a literary analysis paper to support a thesis. This is mostly in relation to a high school paper, for example. Um, often students will understand what evidence is and they'll understand what analysis is, but they don't understand how to make the two work together to support a thesis. So before we talk about evidence and analysis specifically, we need to talk about the paragraphs in a literary analysis paper. There's three main ele elements to a paragraph. The first is, in the case of a paragraph, a topic sentence, which usually relates to the thesis of the entire paper. You have the evidence, which is a quotation you've pulled from the text, and then you've got the analysis. So these are the three main components of a paragraph. And a literary analysis paper is nothing more than a collection of paragraphs. So you have to get the balance right in the paragraphs in order for the paper to work right. So typically developing writers will have a balance that looks something like this. They have a thesis, they have a good piece of evidence, but then their analysis is pretty scanty. It looks something like this. So in this case you can see that the topic sentence is, is pretty weak. It doesn't really explain much about what you can't tell what the student's thesis is in this case. Um, they have a good piece of evidence, but then they don't do much analysis. It's, it's basically just restating the evidence. Um, what you really want to look for is something that looks a little more like this. You've got your thesis, you've got your evidence, and then you've got your analysis. So notice how the size increases moving from thesis to evidence to analysis. So it looks a little more something like this. In this case you've got a thesis or a topic sentence that clearly explains what the paragraph is going to be about. You've got evidence and then you've got good chunk of analysis. And just a heads up, I took this from SparkNotes, so uh, I don't recommend cutting and pasting it into your paper because it'll pop up in a Google search pretty quickly. So basically, how you, you need to understand how your thesis and your evidence and your analysis interact to create a solid literary analysis paper. One way that I think it's helpful to think of it is to think of it in terms of crime scene investigation. So we've all seen CSI, and uh, I've had a lot of success explaining it in a way. So in CSI, you've got evidence, and that's the stuff you scrape off the floor. And analysis is what you do to the evidence to prove your case. So notice the color coding here, evidence being quotations, analysis being what you're doing with the evidence, and the case in this case being your topic sentence. So in a literary commentary, you've got your thesis or the question you want to answer. You start with that. Then you move to your evidence. You look through the book and find your quotations. You do the analysis of those quotations, which should circle back to your thesis. And this sort of circular motion is what a good literary analysis paper will do. We'll start with a question, it'll collect evidence, and it'll move back and forth between evidence and analysis in order to prove the thesis. So let's talk about what evidence is. How do you define evidence? It's something that helps prove a point, and it's an outward sign or indication. So those are actually how you would define evidence. So what you want to do when you're writing your literary analysis paper is you want to provide a piece of evidence in the form of a quotation that relates to and supports your thesis. And your thesis, remember, is just the question that you're trying to answer. So what is analysis then? So analysis is the separation of a whole into its component parts, and it's the attempt to determine the nature and relationship of those parts. So what you want to do is you want to examine the piece of evidence you've taken, which supports your thesis, and look at how the writer has um, constructed that. Unpack the word choice and its effect. What is the writer trying to do? How does it explain that particular section of the book? And then what you want to do is explain and interpret how the evidence connects and supports the universal message. And the universal message is usually the thesis of the author. So what does it mean? What does it reveal? Why is it meaningful? And what you want to do is explore how this evidence informs or expands your thesis. So to put that a little more simply, you are advocating a specific understanding of the text. This is your thesis. You look through the text carefully to find quotations that support your understanding of the text. And these quotations are your evidence. And then you take that evidence and you use it to explore or expand your thesis. This process is analysis. And ultimately what you want to do is you want to take it up a notch beyond that. You want to break outside the text and argue how a piece of literature shows us what it means to be human, which is what all literature is about. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to add comments. Um, I can certainly do a more in-depth video. And if anyone would like a video on how to construct or develop a thesis, I'm perfectly happy to do that. So just let me know. Thanks.